All right, all packed up and ready to go. Uh, here we go. All right, say goodbye to our lovely little stream. Off we go. So yesterday, I was shocked. I had to double check my numbers, or triple check them even. Because I did like 19.1 or something. And I was like, there's no way I did 19 today. But I did. Those huckleberries. Ooh, look at that. Those huckleberries must have had a lot of, a lot of power in them. Anyway. We are going to do less than 19 today. I, I've looked at the map and I've planned it. And you, you know, I might hear you say, hey, you don't plan. Uh, that's mostly true, but you, you plan the day, right? And then sometimes you plan the day around what you want the next day to be. So, yep. Today, I believe we're doing 16. And, uh, should end at a pretty good campsite. But tomorrow, tomorrow is supposed to have a spectacular view. And that's what I planned it around. So we'll see. There we go. Yeah. I believe this is Mount Rainier. So apparently it has one of the most, I guess, are your, the largest glaciers on uh, any American mountain. So I'll read up more on it and I will give you the details. All right, there we go. We have many trees and a couple mountains. Check it out, you guys. Nice little spring. Yeah. Look at that. Using the limited geology I know, I believe that is a lava plug. But if I'm wrong, I could rest assured knowing at least that it's a pretty cool rock. Wow, there you go. Check that view out. I almost missed it. I had to turn around and I was like, Right, getting real close to that rock, lava plug, whatever. Whew. Looks pretty cool. Get some pretty good vistas today. So if I'm not mistaken, I think this is goat rocks, this area. I don't see goats, but I see lots of rocks. It appears that people don't appreciate the uh, no trespassing and hunting on tribal lands sign. Wow. Let's check out just the depth of the space here. I mean, So much distance. <laughs> well, my buddy stove there for <laughs> for scale.
Yeah, people tell me that it's the perfect time to do it when I will probably end up there. I've officially touched snow. All right, let's see what's up on this ridge. This is the pass. Ooh. There we go. Yes, shade. This is the real reward. All right, yeah, so today it marks the first day I touched snow in Washington. I just realized that. Now, if you recall, I was coming through Oregon. A lot of people were saying that they skipped Washington entirely because the snow is so bad. But because of the heat waves, well, there's really not much left. If uh, that much has happened here, I could only imagine the carnage the polar bears are facing. Okay, and I know that that was uh, meant as like an offhanded joke, but uh, that reminds me. Did you guys hear that there's a new hole in the ozone layer? Apparently it, it's opened up over the, I think it was the Caribbean, or some, somewhere tropical. Yeah, look it up. They're finding evidence that there's a new hole in the ozone layer. If you look really hard, you can see the trail and you can see a couple people, just little dots, walking by. That'll be me in like 15 minutes. Check it out. Just wow. 10 just out of 10. Wow. Sounds like the kind of water I'd want to drink. <laughs> I just noticed that it's actually forks and it comes over here too. So it's multiple strings. Very nice. Check it out, you guys. More water. So these streams that I'm passing all feed into the Cispus River. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but it's a fun fact. I'm sure it means something to someone. But there's a pretty sweet waterfall up ahead. And as delicious as that last spot that I uh, that passed looked, I, I gotta collect from the waterfall, you know? Check it out, I made it to the waterfall. I think I want to dunk my head in.
All right, folks, I gathered my water. It's time to cross. That wasn't so bad. People were like, oh my gosh, how do I not get wet? It's like, what's the point? You're not gonna get wet. But I didn't get wet. It's kind of like that saying, if it's too hot, stay out of the kitchen. If it's too wet, stay away from the waterfall. I imagine the connotations are a bit different though. Just check this out, you guys. It's a pretty awesome section. Yep, goat rocks. I'm still yet to see any goats, but this place certainly rocks. Also, I may wanna reconsider naming it to Amoeba Rocks because we saw that danger mustard. Uh, supposedly that's an Amoeba. We could also rename it Mosquito Rocks because I've seen a couple of mosquitoes. Not over here though, but yesterday. Still awaiting those goats though. little stream here but it appears somebody didn't do an idiot check that's unfortunate I'll check out all this stone here you guys usually you have to hike through it but look at what they did here oh yeah by the way look at this little that's nice oh look at that a little nice little wall the path is all clear wow this is this is uh, pretty, uh, pretty nice. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like in fear of twisting my ankle on loose stones. Whoever the trail maintenance people are that did this, wow, bravo. <laughs> you guys are pretty, pretty dang awesome. Check out all the flowers. Nice little field here. Gosh, I like all the flowers. They're nice. We got the flowers, got the cairns. Very nice. And of course the views. Check out that view. That was steep coming up. All right. Well, where'd I go? All right, we're checking out all the flowers. So, this is like the old PCT. The, uh, Current one is back there, a different direction. But this goes up Knife's Edge and other stuff, I guess. More scenic. The other way is for horses and people who don't like to see things. So I kept saying Mount Rainier when I first started seeing all the mountain and stuff, but this is still Adams. You see the angry Skeletor on the side. That's the only way I can identify Adams now. Here you see, nice little cairn. Not Adams. 
much steeper meadow than you would uh, you'd be led to believe. Quite a view. And still more up to go. Nice little spot to sit for a second. Check it out. Somebody made like a little bench over there. <laughs> it's like a little hidden secret spot. Uh, the mosquitoes are everywhere right now. Oh, I gotta keep moving. Well, well, well. If it isn't my friend, the marmot. I now know what you are. I know what your name is. You have no power over me now. If I pee on a rock, I know. He'll just be there to lick it. Disgusting. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> it's flattening out. Thank goodness. That, that was very steep. Quite the climb. Maybe we should name it Marmot, Marmot Mountain instead of Goat Rock. Alright, a little snow melt stream here. Fresh water. Also a fresh post hole from yours truly. So I was just chatting with the, the guy back there. You, you can, might see him on that rock. He's a day hiker, section hiker named Bob. And he was telling me, because uh, it sounds like he just hikes all around over here. He was telling me when I get up towards Canada, be on the lookout for Spectacle Lake, or Spectacle Point. It's supposed to be really nice. So, something to remember. Yeah, check that out. Pretty neat. Man, I've definitely been trudging through all the snow today. So much snow, it's like a blizzard. Not really. The sarcasm must be apparent. But it's a uh, 100% more snow than I'm used to in Washington so far. And that is a statistical fact. Ooh, check that out. Look at that. All right, first off, all right, so I think that's Mount, uh, whatever it was that I mistook the other one for. But look at that. It's like a little glacial lake, and then there's a little waterfall coming from it. So cool. So cool. All right, so I'm going up the hill. I see this over here. It's like a little rock house. How could I not? I mean, I'm exhausted. But how could I not just take this little side trail and check out the rock house? Heck yeah, look at that. It even has a little couch. Yeah. This. Look at that view. Yeah. This is pretty badass. Oh, 
there we go. There we go. So there's Adams. And here's Rainier. And it looks like if we go forward, forward there, eesh, that's Knife's Edge. All right. So let's get going. Just how, uh, how awesome it is. <laughs> wow, yeah. I saw that like way back there. I was like, is that like a freaking lake? And then I saw the waterfall. Oh, so cool. I wish we were going by it. I, are we? It's, it looks like, like there's a trail there. Like 70% of it. Oh. So cool. Wow, so this is like the first actual bit of snow I've had in quite some time. As you can see, it's a bit of a ways up. The way forward is steep and dangerous. Not everybody makes it. Damaged wing though. That's sad. All right, I made it to the sign. How's it going, guys? What's up? Pretty sweet. Right, did a quick idiot check. No idiots here, didn't leave anything, so I'm off. Way to stay longer, but hey, how's it going? So I actually met you at the top, huh? Yeah, I went to the goal too, but it's like 200 feet too far for me there. Oh, yeah, me too. See you around, Bob. Yeah. Okay, yes. So, I would have stayed longer, but as you can see, 
it's really not in the shade it's a little exposed so I suppose I'll just have to keep going check out that little that little pond a glacier pond that's pretty cool this is a really really cool section You just don't want to slip or anything, you know? Then I went up there, and now I'm going this way, right in the knife's edge. That's a nice view. saw was in Oregon. I think it was before the high point on the trail too. It was a long time ago. I miss gates. I wish there were more gates in my life.
Check it out, you guys. I found like the only spot of shade on all of Knife's Edge. Nice. Sorry, there we go. Nice. And I didn't even see it before, but check out that pond. It's like a little glacial runoff. It's looking mighty tasty right now, I'll tell you what. I only have a couple swigs left of water. We see a sign. What does it say? Coyote Trail. Hiker only. I'm going to take the Coyote Trail and take him the PCT. As interesting as it sounds, not for me. Not today. Crazy to think of the distances. Just a couple of hours I was on that mountain over there. Yeah, just look at that view. So awesome. Yeah, people were hyping up Goat Rock and, and uh, you know, Washington and stuff. This, this is what they're talking about, man. Oh, all right. Well, I believe I'm going to start to get to a point where it's going to start going down. And down is where the water is. So, definitely looking forward to the water. I mean, I could stare at those views all day. But, I could also, uh, do with a bit of hydration. Right now my, my body is pretty dehydrated. I stopped off to take a pee a bit ago and it was super dark. Super dark. So that is a sign of dehydration. For sure, you want that stuff running clear. Clear as the moment you drink it. So, let's get to that water source. Look, I could gather from right there if I wanted to. But, looks like there's some snow over there. 
some snow melt action. Some other hikers. So chill with them and chat. Yes. It's an oasis. Oh look, even the trail has water. A little muddy. Yeah, look at those flowers. Those are nice. Jeez. All the butterflies. Yeah. I've seen more butterflies today than I think I have anywhere else. Which you wouldn't think so because it's like kind of on top of a mountain. But hey, whatever. I'm not a butterfly, I don't know what they like. All right, got my water. And uh, hung out with a couple of the hikers. It was a IPA and Iron Maiden were here when I got here. Uh, my buddy Stove, who I've been crisscrossing past with all day, he kind of just walked right by it, I guess. This isn't the official water source on the map. So it's like, this is just one that happens to be here. But call me an opportunist. I'm totally down with taking advantage of this wonderful water source. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, shouldn't be too much more of the day before I stop at a camp spot. I only intended to go like 16 miles. And I'm not sure how many have gone so far, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting closer to the end. Hey, check that out. There you go, that's awesome. That is so cool. Damn, now I wish I had gone over and collected from that. A little waterfall water. Oh well. You know, sometimes it doesn't pay to be an opportunist because then you, you just take up the resources that you needed earlier. But it's okay. Because you know what? I'm hydrated. And hydration is a necessity. As they say, hydrate or die. Yeah, check it out. So, this is what the trail's looking like right now. Take a gander over there. It's kind of nice. <clears throat> Sorry if it's really shaky, but there's rocks all over. You know, kind of mobile. until I get to a campsite. Uh, I was thinking about the one in about three miles. So I'll be there like an hour and a half or less. Especially if it's all downhill. But yeah, it's about four o'clock. So this is generally the time I like to stop if I can or just figure out where I'm going to stop <sighs> oh, 
skip. So I'll do that, and then tomorrow, tomorrow will be a uh, kind of a Nero. Oh, look at that! A Nero to the 12 or White's Pass. I think I'll just hitch into. Uh, there's there's kind of a town down the road. I've heard about. So maybe I'll just hitch in and see what the hubbub is all about since I'm gonna have a couple days. Yeah. Looks like I have a cowboy hat. Yeehaw. Wow, look at that. That is pretty cool looking. Wow. Love that red, just how the sun is hitting on the ridges there. Wow. Well, you know, definitely getting the views today, man. Uh, I mean, it was a lot of, a lot of hard work. The freaking you know, altitude gain steep it was but that was worth it I probably could have done with more water but I had just about two swigs by the time I got to that water source so I was efficient but as I was telling IPA uh, Sometimes being efficient is kind of highly stressful.